Guys, I was doing a quick mill calibration here on my DMC-24 and uh, really haven't checked this, uh, you know, the machine's accuracy so much since I built it a year ago. Uh, you know, I check parts as they come off and everything seems to do what I want. Uh, but I can't say that I've ever checked it more accurately than just with a 123 block. So I borrowed some longer gauge blocks. Uh, from my workplace and thought I'd check it and uh, this is a 10 inch uh, gauge block that I'm using for the to check the y-axis so I wrote a little program here to uh, to zero off on the front of the block so my indicator and then I'm going to command it to run 10 inches touch off on the back and uh, hopefully that thing reads zero So let's just start here. So that's pretty good. And back to zero. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, there is a slight correction factor in there. Let's see, I've got... can't remember what I've got. Um, for Y... Uh, there's a... 99992. Uh, the way flash cut works is... Uh, if you get any errors either in your ball screw pitch or in your uh, drive ratio, uh, you can do a linear, linear comp for it using this little fudge factor. And uh, I'm pretty confident that my uh, uh, C5 uh, ground NSK ball screws are indeed 4 millimeters uh, per rev. I think the certificates that came with them um, you actually have test charts on there and and they were good for, uh, shoot, I don't remember now. I think it was maybe like four tenths per foot or something like that, crazy. Uh, and I think they're, the actual measurements were better than that. So I'm pretty happy with the, or pretty confident of the ball screw numbers. But uh, this number, um, yeah, I'm just using Gates uh, timing uh, belt, uh, timing pulleys and uh, the GT2 belt. Uh, which is pretty good, but you know, I can't say for sure that that ratio is exactly 1.20. That's what, a, in theory, it should be based on those diameters, but uh, that little bit of a fudge factor in there does uh, does correct it. I, I don't remember what the number was before I put that in there. I think it was off maybe a couple thousandths, uh, but uh, I'm really, I can't remember. It was pretty close, maybe just a few, but uh, anyway. Thought that might be of interest. Uh, also check the uh, the Y axis or the X axis with a 16 inch BMW 16, and uh, it's about the same. Uh, yeah, I could run 16 inches and get just uh, yeah a negligible reading on the indicator there for its its position. So. All in all, still looking pretty good. Okay, talk to you later.